Act 1 ended with Brooke and Emma calling for an ambulance after finding Maureen unresponsive. They wonder who could have knocked on their door to make them aware that there was something wrong. Lights up on Allison's apartment, which is now painted red. Allison sits nervously by the phone. Why does everyone I love die? Mom? Dad? Daryl? If Miss Cooper loved me, he'd die too. Maureen, this is my fault. The Allison curse. I make a mess of every relationship, except Cheryl. <laughs> Is there a man who can love me the way I am? Fat, cursed, dangerous. Maybe that's why I make a mess of every chance. To spare the people I love. <sighs> but God damn, I'm so lonely. I make a mess of every chance He comes along but I can't dance Or he's with her and he can't see That he would rather be with me And if he'd rather be with me Why isn't he? There's a sky full of stars And I know one is mine Every star that I hold has just fallen There's a sea full of fish and I'm sure one is mine but the sharks take them all but the small ones Where is the man who will take me as I am Every woman that he meets Where is the man Who will love me for myself Who will overlook my past Who will let me be the last one church oh thank god can i speak to her oh, okay when can we see her okay thank you ciao for now
Ruby? No, just me, sorry. Maureen's alive. We can see her tomorrow. Who is this? Alison. Noisy girl number three. We can see Maureen tomorrow. What time? In the morning. We should let her son know. I have. I remember that much. <sighs> Alison, I, uh, I won't find my way to the hospital. Oh, don't worry. I'll drive us there. And back. <laughs> and back. Have you eaten? Emma? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Ciao for now. <sighs> I saved her life, Daryl. For once, I didn't make a mess. Lights up on Maureen wearing a hospital gown and slippers, sitting downstage center on a chair, staring into space, hands limply resting on her lap. How's preacher man giving you tonight's sermon? You know what it's like. You lost someone you love too. Mum, for God's sake, what are you waiting for? He'll never leave his wife. Not a normal family amongst us. Widow, widow, orphan. Dad knew. Maureen, how could you be so selfish? I need you. Uh, Trent needs you. Alison needs you. I bought you something for when you go to Venice. I'm sorry, Maureen. What do you need? I need you to take me home. Ruby? Fred, the electrician. Just making a follow-up call. Any more problems? Problems? My neighbour tried to kill herself. My daughter won't return my calls. The girl in Daryl's apartment is worried about her weight. And I'm losing my mind. You... Did you pin the light to your canvas, Emma? I did, but uh, my own lights are going out. Ah, still a fault on the circuitry. My mind, you fool. You can't fix that. No one can. Your job here is done. Yeah, not quite. Hello? Fred, the electrician. How's the power? Any more problems? No, everything's fine. Thanks for asking. You know, the artist, Emma Pauly, her work is world class. Shame no one sees it. <laughs> Daryl, my brother, was going to organise an exhibition for her, but... Will you do it? Me? I'd make a mess. Maureen could help. She's just tying herself in knots. Think about it. What do you think, Daryl? Could I do it? I'll take that as a yes. Maureen. Come for dinner tonight, 7 p.m. Emma, come for dinner tonight, 7 p.m. Alison, noisy girl in number three. <laughs> We're having frog's legs. Lights up on Alison's apartment. The table is set for three. Alison, wearing an African caftan, buzzes in from the kitchen and puts a bottle of wine on the table. It's open. It suits you, the cafe. <laughs> I bought it in Morocco in 1992. 
Ruby was five and asking so many questions. <laughs> Why is the sky blue? Why do dogs bark? Where's Daddy? I didn't have any answers then. Still don't. Oh, something smells good. Chicken? Frog's legs. I won't eat legless amphibians. <laughs> Married one once. Spineless twat. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I won't remember next week. How's Ruby's portrait coming along? Finished. And it will become synonymous with my name, like, um, oh, Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, Van Gogh's Sunflowers, Monet's Lily Pond, Klimt's Kiss. Emma Pauly's Portrait of Ruby. <laughs> Did you ask that young man out? What's his name? <laughs> Dennis Cooper, not yet. However, if I had a special occasion I could invite him to, I would. Invite him to your wedding. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Funny. It's open, Maureen. I thought white was fitting in her new life. You look lovely, Alison. Is that one of yours, Emma? Yes, bought it in Morocco in 92. Funny, I remember the past so clearly, oh, except for Ruby's father. But yesterday's a blur. I know he was French, Pierre or Henri or <laughs> something common. We're having frog's legs. Well, we said we'd try them sometime. Sit, please, chat amongst yourselves. Don't ever do that again. I can't manage without you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Emma. To life. To life. I've painted the masterpiece, Ruby. Oh, I knew you would. Salute. Do you think God forgives? You don't believe in God. You know, I gave that bastard 15 years of my life I betrayed Norman for him, taught Trent to accept betrayal and and tried to kill myself over him. I can't forgive myself, Emma, so I'm really hoping that God can manage it, even though I don't believe in him. Oh, don't worry about God or Norman or Trent or what's his name? Rowan. Rowan. They're all big boys. They can take care of themselves. Worry about yourself and talk to me for God's sake. <laughs> Hell, your secrets are safe with me. I won't remember them. Dinner is served. Please go ahead. Well, I'm game. Hmm, not too bad chicken but with a kick kick oh for god's sake leg kick mm. delicious well aren't you eating allison full of tim tams i bet emma how many paintings do you have lots why because Maureen and I are going to organise an Emma Pauly exhibition. What? We are? <laughs> you find the venue, Maureen. You have time. I'll cover the expenses. I have money. And you organise your paintings, Emma. You have talent. Agreed? Uh, agreed. Expose me to the world? Never. I'll invite Ruby. Oh, and I'll invite Dennis Cooper. Oh, Ruby won't come. She won't even take my calls. I'll call her. She'll talk to me. Everyone does. Oh, come on, Emma. Life is a risk. Isn't that what you're always saying? No. That's what you said just before you swallowed a bottle of pills. Oh, please, Emma. 
I need something to look forward to. So do I. Oh, I don't know. Well, if you don't agree, we're all stuck in our own little lives. I'll keep eating Tim Tams and fantasizing about Dennis Cooper, and you'll keep pining for Ruby. And the earth will keep spinning, and Maureen may try to get off again. Oh, that's a lot of pressure, ladies. Well, then agree. Fred enters and leans against the proscenium arch downstage. If you don't agree, then nothing will happen. The world stays exactly the same. And the cycle's begun in the womb before time will go on the way they began. If you don't agree, we all know the story. The ending is just out of reach. We will climb the same mountains, sail the same seas, be stopped at the very same breach. If you don't agree, then history is telling the same story over again. Man will fight, man will die, man will seek out his glory and never agree to agree. But if you choose, we stop right here. If you choose, the ending is clear. We go down into valleys unknown, into worlds only dreamed of. We go forward into love never shown by the souls to a friend. Up into mountains of truth Over fields gold with wisdom We dive deep into rivers of love If you choose If you choose If you choose if you don't agree, then nothing will happen. The world stays exactly the same. And the cycle's begun in the womb before time will go on the way they began. If you don't agree, then history is telling the same story over again. Man will fight, man will die, man will seek out his glory and never agree to agree. If you won't agree. Oh, for God's sake, I agree. Yes. I'll start looking tomorrow. Oh, go ahead. Plan my public humiliation. Mercifully, I won't remember next year. Daytime, all three apartments are lit. Allison is sitting at her table studying brochures of venues. Emma is organizing her paintings. And Maureen is on the phone. Well, thank you. We'll pay the deposit tomorrow. Hello? Oh, Paddington Arts Deco Gallery exclusive. Expensive. Uh, sorry. No, it doesn't matter. When? Next month, they had a cancellation. The owner, uh, Gerthart, Trey Posh, uh, said they usually booked up to three months in advance. They refused a waiting list, so we got in. Oh, it's a miracle. Yes, but let's secure that miracle with a deposit. <laughs> no deposit. I'll pay the full fee. Did you speak to Ruby? She'll come when I have a definite booking and a firm date. Which we now have. Oh, I wish Daryl could have seen this. Oh, he's watching. <laughs> invite Dennis and, and your friend Cheryl. I will. You invite Trent. Oh, that's a given. Oh, I wonder what Rowan's doing right now. Oh, praying. Forget him. Shall we give Emma the good news? Oh, not yet. She'll panic. Agreed. Ciao for now. 
<laughs> oh, God bless Alison. What twisted mind turned knots into art? An exhibition, Ruby. Uh, what if they laugh? <laughs> I won't remember. I'm fading like an old tapestry. Every day I lose another stitch to the light. I am fading fast, can you see me? Nothing's built to last the time. Put your soul on canvas, Emma Pauling. Like Vincent. I am fading fast, can you see me? Nothing's built to last the time. Time is lost or still or imagined. All we have is now and then. I still hope you walk back to the door, laughing at some silly conversation we once had. late again. Look, pack your bags. You heard me. Leave a note telling that philandering prick you've gone home to your mother. Good. Oh, I love you, Trent. Norman, our son is going to be just fine. I know. I know. I most definitely know. Piss off. I don't need any more complications in my life. Arts Deco Gallery, nighttime. Paintings hanging down on wires and a fabulous portrait of a girl with green eyes are center. Maureen, dressed in a gorgeous black dress, enters, checking everything. Allison, dressed in another fabulous caftan, follows. Wow. Wow. Oh, please tell me Ruby's coming. All the way from Paris. She's catching a cab straight from the airport. Where's Emma? In the bathroom again. We've done well, Maureen. Daryl couldn't have done it better. I'm so glad to be alive. I would have hated to have missed this. And you look beautiful. 
Is Dennis coming? He is. Cheryl's giving him a lift. He doesn't drive. Scared of traffic. Can you believe it? Then I chuck at Emma. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, here she is. Emma enters wearing a gorgeous caftan and turban. Oh, Emma, are you happy with what we've done? Oh, God, it's my worst nightmare. <laughs> All my second-rate work on display. Ah, oh, except this one of Ruby. Don't be silly. You're amazing. World-class, like Daryl said you were. Daryl said that? Often. Thank you both. I don't deserve this kindness. Well, you saved my life, and there's the least I could do. Alison paid for it. And Maureen arranged it. Emma, you're a fucking genius. Don't you swear, young lady. <laughs> Am I really good? Oh, God. Oh, I refuse to cry. I need a drink. Champagne, you poor madame. Congratulations, Emma. Alison. Maureen. Yeah. Hello. Is this Dennis or Trent? This is Fred, the electrician who fixed the power. This is Fred. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't meet you before I, I tried to kill myself. I'd have had a second thoughts. <laughs> oh, anyway, it's okay. I'm sure you know all about my drama. Everyone else in the building knows. Pleased to finally meet you, Fred. Enchanté, mademoiselle. And yes, I know about your pills and your French night. Next time, Alison. Next time? I invited him. How many gorgeous available men do we meet? Was he there at the French night? I don't remember him. I was there in spirit. Well done, Emma. You've pinned it to the canvas. Pinned what? Your soul. What's he talking about? Yes. I see that too. There's a light in your work. Oh, here's my friend Cheryl. She really wants to meet Fred. Excuse me, Emma. Cheryl, let me introduce you to Fred. Oh, that's odd. He was here a minute ago. Dennis, thank you so much for coming. Can I offer you a glass of champagne? You don't have to drive home after all. Oh, Trent, you know Emma, of course, and, and this is Alison Church. Enchanté. Who's this? My son, Trent, and this is Fred. Oh, did you see Fred leave? Who's Fred? The electrician. The electrician. <sighs> well, what do we need him for? Power's fixed. Everything's fixed except for. Is, is that. Ruby flew all the way from Paris to be here. What, what do I say? Whatever's in your heart. Go on. Be brave. Oh, says the lady who swallowed a bottle of pills. It's been so long. Go on, Emma. The world won't stop spinning. I thought it had. Ruby? Ruby! <laughs> Fuse it, you are flickering at best. 
your lights are almost out You are crossing all your wires Risky bruises I got the skill you need I've got the tools I'm amazing Got a problem with the alt Your breakers on the blink Painting pictures of the past